Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, so I visited my father again today and he continues to improve, so that's really, really good news. Uh, when I arrived there this morning, I got there about 11 and he was uh, uh, working with his physical therapist again. Now I recall yesterday that he did the same thing when I was there and uh, you know, he started off with really low blood pressure and then when he sat up, the blood pressure rose up a little bit and actually got to like 103 for the upper number, which was really good. That was the best we've seen. And then when he got back up on his feet again, then it kind of dropped back down again. But we're kind of uh, learning the fact that because of his current situation, because of the fact that he's a little dehydrated, because of liver issues, and because of a couple other issues, that that's probably making his blood pressure be a little lower than normal. And it turns out when he was sitting up, his blood pressure was in the 80s, which is what we've been seeing kind of consistently for the past few days. And when it, But uh, this time when he stood up, the blood pressure didn't drop. It actually went up a little bit, which was really good news. Uh, got up into like the uh, upper 80s, even I think the low 90s, which is good because like I said yesterday when they stood him up, he uh, the blood pressure actually dropped a little bit so that was really good news he was feeling really good uh, he was just kind of raring to get out and walk around a little bit and uh, so they did and remember yesterday he was able to walk to the door and back and actually wanted to go more but the physical therapist kind of said no let's just take it slow for now well today he walked out the door down the hall past the reception office into another wing and kind of stopped there uh, while the nurse uh, took his blood pressure, she was happy with the blood pressure, asked him if he was ready to go for some more. He said, yep, I'm ready to go some more. So he walked back to his room. Uh, when he got back to the room, the physical therapist said, uh, you ready to go back in? And he said, no, I want to walk some more. So he walked uh, halfway down to the end of the hall that he was in and back again and got back to his room and was feeling really, really good. In all, I think he went 100 or 150 feet, which is really good because like I said, He'd only gone, you know, maybe 20 feet yesterday, and he still wanted to go more, but the physical therapist said, you know, let's just take it real slow for now. Uh, you know, we'll try again tomorrow, and if, if you want to, we can go further tomorrow, you know. At the rate he's going, I'm guessing he may be doing laps around the building before long, so that's really good. Additionally, um, the doctors are talking a little bit more seriously about performing this TIPS procedure that I've talked to you a, a couple of times. Um, and apparently uh, what they want to do is he's taking a blood, thin, blood thinner called Humidin and uh, they want him off that blood thinner for five days before he can have his TIPS procedure. Well, they took him off the, the Humidin today and injected him with something in the stomach that kind of does the same thing but doesn't have the same issue with the Humidin and I think they want to do that now for the next five days which means at very least, he might be ready to do his TIPS procedure on Monday, which would be really fantastic news because that's like one of the last things that they have to do to uh, get him to the point where he's ready to come home. I also talked to one of the nurses and the nurse uh, told me that they were reducing the dosage of the medicine that was upsetting his stomach so much. Uh, because they've really gotten the ammonia levels under control and he's doing way better with that now and obviously once they begin gaining control of the ammonia levels they can reduce the dosage of this medicine now uh, he was taking 10 cc's well he was taking 15 cc's three times a day as, as recently as yesterday and today they reduced it to 10 cc's per dose uh, they still want him to take it three times a day but you know, the longer we can go and the more we reduce the uh, dosage of that, you know, the better it's going to be on his stomach and the, the happier he's going to be. So, like I said, he was, uh, you know, in way better spirits today. He was uh, more talkative uh, and less kind of lethargic and kind of, you know, slurring his speech uh, than he was yesterday. So he seems to definitely be on the mend. So we're really, really grateful to that for that. So... Um, I left him sitting in his chair again. Uh, apparently yesterday, uh, after I left him in his chair, he basically spent the rest of the afternoon in his chair rather than going back into his bed. And the only reason he went back into his bed is because he started getting a little cold. You know, apparently with the blood pressure issue and the, the liver issue, you know, his body temperature is running a little low. So he's, they've been keeping his room a little warmer 
And today they elected to, when he when they let him sit in his chair, they le, they elected to let him you know wear, uh, put a blanket on just to kind of keep himself warm. So theoretically, he should be able to uh, stay up and stay in his chair as long as he wants. Maybe even until he goes to bed tonight. Uh, his appetite is definitely returning. Uh, the, he devoured his meal when he got there, and was you know looking for more. He's been kind of uh, fighting a little bit with. Uh, one of the meals they've been uh, sending him, they've been sending him spaghetti and meatballs every day, and he loves spaghetti and meatballs, but apparently this hospital doesn't know how to do good spaghetti and meatballs. And so he's been sending it back, not because he doesn't have the appetite, it's just because he says it doesn't taste good. So, you know, what do they do when, they, when he sends it back? They send it to him the next day, and they send it to him the next day. So, yeah, for the third day in a row today, he got spaghetti and meatballs, and for the third day, he sent it back. Uh, but what we did manage to do is we talked to one of the nurses about it and the nurse apparently has corrected the problem so apparently what was going on is when he sends a meal back they didn't get the message that he doesn't like what it was they just assumed he wasn't in the mood for it he wasn't hungry or something so we got it changed on his uh, menu so hopefully starting tomorrow he'll, he'll stop getting that and that'll be a better thing he uh, substituted it for a ham and or for a turkey and cheese sandwich and apparently that was pretty good and he got a couple of bowls of fruit and some ice cream and he loves all that and so his appetite's coming back he's feeling better he's looking better he's more active and so yeah everything seems to be going really well we're really pleased with that so that is all i think i have for today on today's report so thank you as always for watching and i will see you next time on escaping the mouse good night